Bear Sheath. Genesis. In the beginning, Elohim created the heavens and the earth. And the earth came to be, formless and empty, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the spirit of Elohim was moving on the face of the waters. And Elohim said, Let light come to be, and light came to be. And Elohim saw the light, that it was good. And Elohim separated the light from the darkness. And Elohim called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, one day. And Elohim said, Let an expanse come to be in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. And Elohim made the expanse, and separated the waters which were under the expanse from the waters which were above the expanse, and it came to be so. And Elohim called the expanse heavens. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, the second day. And Elohim said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it came to be so. And Elohim called the dry land earth, and the collection of the waters he called seas. And Elohim saw that it was good. And Elohim said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the plant that yields seed, and the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind, whose seed is in itself on the earth. And it came to be so. And the earth brought forth grass, the plant that yields seed according to its kind, and the tree that yields fruit, whose seed is in itself according to its kind. And Elohim saw that it was good. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, the third day. And Elohim said, Let lights come to be in the expanse of the heavens, to separate the day from the night. And let them be for signs in appointed times, and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the expanse of the heavens to give light on the earth. And it came to be so. And Elohim made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night, and the stars. And Elohim set them in the expanse of the heavens to give light on the earth, and to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And Elohim saw that it was good. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, the fourth day. And Elohim said, Let the waters teem with shoals of living beings, and let birds fly above the earth on the face of the expanse of the heavens. And Elohim created great sea creatures and every living being that moves with which the waters teemed, according to their kind, and every winged bird according to its kind. And Elohim saw that it was good. And Elohim blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and increase, and fill the waters and the seas, and let the birds increase on the earth. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, the fifth day. And Elohim said, Let the earth bring forth the living being according to its kind livestock and creeping creatures and beasts of the earth according to its kind, and it came to be so. And Elohim made the beasts of the earth according to its kind, livestock according to its kind, and all that creep on the earth according to its kind. And Elohim saw that it was good. And Elohim said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all earth, and over all the creeping creatures that creep on the ground. And Elohim created the man in his image, in the image of Elohim he created him. Male and female he created them. And Elohim blessed them, and Elohim said to them, Be fruitful and increase, and fill the earth and subdue it, and rule over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over all creeping creatures on the earth. And Elohim said, See, I have given you every plant that yields seed which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed, to you it is for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the heavens, and to every creeping creature on the earth, in which there is a living being, every green plant is for food. And it came to be so. And Elohim saw that all he made, saw all that he had made, and see, it was very good. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, the sixth day. Chapter 2 Thus the heavens and the earth were completed, in all their array. And in the seventh day Elohim completed his work which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all the work which he had made. These are the births of the heavens and the earth when they were created, and the day that, El that Yahuwah Elohim made the earth and heavens. Now no shrub of the field was yet on the earth, and no plant of the field had yet sprung up, for Yahuwah Elohim had not set the rain on the earth, and there was no man to till the ground. But a mist went up from the earth and watered the entire surface of the ground. And Yahuwah Elohim formed the man out of dust from the ground, and breathed into his nostrils breath of lives, and the man became a living being. And Yahuwah Elohim planted a garden in Eden to the east, and there he put the man whom he had formed. 
And out of the ground, Yahuwah Elohim made every tree grow that is pleasant to the sight and good for food, with the tree of life in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from there it divided and became four heads. The name of the first is Pishon. It is the one surrounding the entire land of Kavila, where there is gold. And the gold of that land is good. Delium is there, and the Shoham stone. And the name of the second river is Gihon. It is the one surrounding the entire land of Cush. And the name of the third river is Kedekel. It is the one which goes toward the east of Asher. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. And Yahuwah Elohim took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and to guard it. And Yahuwah Elohim gar- commanded the man, saying, Eat of every tree of the garden, but do not eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, for in the day that you eat of it, you shall certainly die. And Yahuwah Elohim said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I am going to make a helper for him, as his counterpart. And from the ground Yahuwah Elohim formed every beast of the field and every bird of the heavens, and brought them to the man to see what he would call them, and whatever the man called each living being, that was its name. So the man the man gave names to all livestock, and to the birds of the heavens, and to every beast of the field. But for the man there was not found a helper for him, as his counterpart. So Yahuwah Elohim caused a deep sleep to fall on the man, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs, and closed up the fr- flesh in his place. And the rib which Yahuwah Elohim had taken from the man, he had made he made into a woman, and he brought her to the man. And the man said, This is now a boat of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one is called woman, because she was taken out of man. For this cause a man shall for this cause a man shall leave his father and mother, and cleave to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and, the, and his wife, yet they were not ashamed. Chapter three. And the Nakash was more crafty than all the lives of the field which Yahuwah Elohim had made. And he said to the woman, Is it true that Elohim has said, Do not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said to the Nakash, We are to eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. But of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Elohim has said, Do not eat of it, nor touch it, lest you die. And the Nakash said to the woman, You shall certainly not die. For Elohim knows that in, that, in the day you eat of, eat of it, your eyes shall be opened, and you shall be like Elohim, knowing good and evil. And the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree it desirable to make one wise. And she took of its fruit and ate, and she also gave to her husband with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together, and made loin coverings for themselves. And they heard the voice of Yahuwah Elohim walking about in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves in the presence of Yahuwah Elohim among the trees of the garden. And Yahuwah Elohim called unto Adam, and said to him, Where are you? And he said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid myself. And he said, Who made you know that you were naked? Have you eaten of the tree which I commanded you, you that you should not eat? And the man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I ate. And Yahuwah Elohim said to the woman, What is this you have done? And the woman said, The Nakash deceived me, and I ate. And Yahuwah Elohim said to, said to the Nakash, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all livestock, and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you are to go, and eat dust all the days of your life. And I put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall crush your head, and you shall crush his heel. To the woman he said, I greatly increase your sorrow and your conception. Bring forth children in pain, and your desire is for your husband, and he does rule over you. And to the man he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten of the tree which I commanded you, saying, Do not eat of it. Curse is the ground because of you, and to where you are to eat of it all the days of your life. And the ground shall bring forth thorns and thistles for you, and you shall eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face you are to eat bread until you return to the ground, for out of it you are taken, for dust you are, and to dust you return. And the man called his wife's name Kava, because she came she became the mother of all living. And Yahuwah Elohim made coats of skin for the man and his wife, and dressed them. And Yahuwah Elohim said, See, the man has become like one of us, to know good and evil. 
And now, lest he put his hand, put out his hand, and take also the tree of life, and eat, and live forever. So Yahuwah Elohim sent him out of the garden of Eden, to the till the ground from which he was taken. And he drove the man out. And he placed Kerubim, Kerubim at the east of the garden of Eden, and a flaming sword which turned every way, to guard the way of the tree of life. Chapter 4 And Adam knew Kava his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain and said, I have gained a man, Yahuwah. And again she gave birth to his brother, Havel. And Havel became a keeper of the sheep, but Cain became a tiller of the ground. And it came to be, in the course of time, that Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to Yahuwah. And Havel also brought the firstborn of his flock and of their fat. And Yahuwah looked to Havel and his offering, but he did not look to Cain and his offering. And Cain was very wroth, and his face fell. And Yahuwah said to Cain, Why is he wroth toward you, and why is your face fallen? Is it not, if you do good, you are to be accepted? And if you do not do good, towards the door is towards the door is a sin. He is lying, and towards you is his desire, and you must rule over him. And Cain told Havel his brother, and it came to be when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Havel his brother and killed him. And Yahuwah said to Cain, Where is Havel your brother? And he said, I do not know. Am I my brother's guard? And he said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. And now you are cursed from the earth, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. If you till the ground, it shall no longer yield its strength to you. You shall be a fugitive and a wanderer on the earth. And Cain said to Yahuwah, My punishment is too great to bear. See, you have driven me from the face of the ground today, and I am hidden from your face. I shall be a fugitive and a wanderer of the earth, and it shall be that anyone who finds me kills me. And Yahuwah said to him, Well, if anyone kills Cain, vengeance is taken on him sevenfold. And Yahuwah set up a sign for Cain, lest anyone find him, finding him strikes him. So Cain went out from the presence of Yahuwah and dwelt in the land of Nod, on the east of Eden. And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived and bore Canuck. And he built a city, and called the name of the city after the name of his son Canuck. And to Canuck was born Irad, and Irad brought forth Mechuyael, and Mechuyael brought forth Methuselah, and Methuselah brought forth Lamech. And Lamech took for himself two wives, the name of one was Adah, and the name of the second was Sila. And Adah bore Yabal. He was the father of those who dwell in tents, with livestock, and his brother's name was Yabal. He was the father of all those who play the lyre and flute. As for Sila, she also bore Tubal Cain, a smith of all kinds of tools in bronze and iron, and the sister of Tubal Cain was Naama. And Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Sila, hear my voice. Wives of Lamech, listen to my words. For I have killed a man for wounding me, even a young man for hurting me. For Cain is avenged sevenfold, and Lamech seventy seventy-sevenfold. And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son and called his name Seth. For Elohim had appointed, has appointed me another seed instead of Havel, because Cain killed him. And to Sheth, to him also, what, to him also a son was born, and he called his name Enosh. Then it was begun to call on the name of Yahuwah. Chapter five. This is the book of the genealogy of Adam. In the day that Elohim created man, he made him in the likeness of Elohim. Male and female he created them, and he blessed them and called their name Adam. In the day they were created. And Adam lived 130 years and brought forth a son in his own likeness, after his image, and called his name Sheth. And after he brought forth Sheth, the days of Adam were, 80, were 800 years. And he brought forth sons and daughters. So all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. So all the days that Adam lived were 900. Oh, oops, I already wrote that right. And Seth lived a hundred and five years and brought forth Enosh. And after he brought forth Enosh, Seth lived eight hundred and seven years and brought forth sons and daughters. So all the days of Seth were nine hundred and twelve years and he died. And Enosh lived ninety years and brought forth Canaan. And after he brought forth Canaan, Enosh lived eight hundred and fifteen years and brought forth sons and daughters. So all the days of Enosh were nine hundred and five years and he died. And Cain lived, Canaan lived seventy years and brought forth Mahalalel. After he brought forth Mahalalel, 
Canaan lived 840 years and brought forth sons and daughters. So all the days of Canaan were 910 years, and he died. And Mahalalel lived 65 years and brought forth Ured. And after he brought forth Ured, Mahalalel lived 830 years and brought forth sons and daughters. So all the days of Mahalalel were 895 years, and he died. And Ured lived 162 years and brought forth Kanak. After he brought forth Kanak, Ured lived 800 years and brought forth sons and daughters. So all the days of Ured were 962 years and he died. And Kanak lived 65 years and brought forth Meth Methuselah. And after he brought forth Methuselah, Kanak walked with Elohim 300 years and brought forth sons and daughters. So all the days of Kanak were 365 years. And Kanak walked with Elohim. Then he was no more, for Elohim took him. And Methuselah, and Methuselah lived 187 years and brought forth Lamech. And after he brought forth Lamech, Methuselah, Methuselah lived 782 years and brought forth sons and daughters. So all the days of Methuselah were 969 years, and he died. And Lamech lived 182 years and brought forth a son and called his name Noach saying, This one does comfort us concerning our work and, toil and the toil of our hands because of the ground which Yahuwah has cursed. And after he brought forth Noah, Lamech lived 595 years and brought forth sons and daughters. So all the days of Lamech were 777 years, and he died. And Noah was 500 years old, and Noah brought forth Shem, Ham, and Japheth.